Thank you. Manitou Springs is switching ambulance service from a third party to its own internal service within the fire department. And leaders say it will lead to much quicker response times. News 5's Bill Folsom is looking into the switch. No one wants a ride in an ambulance, but medically trained firefighters in Manitou Springs promise emergency room type care with the new ambulance service they're starting in the city. What happens in your emergency department with the IVs, the medication delivery, shocks, pacing, um, we're able to do in the back of this box. Two new ambulances, three paramedics, and three EMTs. They'll administer medical attention en route. We're giving them state of the art care. At the same time, they can transmit vitals to prep doctors and nurses for quicker response upon arrival at a hospital. We're able to get the data and get the hospital notified so when they get there, they've already got a pre filled out patient care report. It costs money for equipment, supplies, and, and preparation to do something this significant and that costs about $600,000. It is a significant investment for a small city. I think our city leadership has done a really good job of managing their budget, which allowed us the opportunity to do this. One of the main reasons for switching from an ambulance contractor to in-house service is response time. The expectation with the contractor was around 18 minutes. Handling it internally should shave more than 10 minutes off that time. With our current response times, to arrive on a scene of a, of a medical incident or traumatic injury, whatever the case may be, we're already meeting those goals in less than five and a half minutes. The new Manitou Ambulance Service starts Sunday morning. All you need to know if you have an emergency is call 911. Crews will likely be to you within around five minutes. This is the truck to look for. In Manitou Springs, Bill Folsom, News 5.